everything should be good to go. And uh, hey, everybody, thanks for joining us for, for our first stream here on Facebook Live. Uh, my name is Brandy Camel. I'm one of your community managers for the Diablo team. And uh, on my left here, I'm Mr. Joe Shelley, one of our senior game designers. Yes. Hi, everyone. <laughs> And uh, I just want to take a moment. Uh, thank you for joining us today, Joe. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to hang out and answer some Yeah, questions. of course. So. Any time between working on Necro. Yep. Yeah, there's tons of stuff to be doing there. So, All right. Uh, without further ado, we've, we've gone ahead and gathered a whole bunch of questions from our community and from a variety of different places. We took some straight off of Facebook. We took some from our forums, from Twitter. So mm -hmm. we've kind of gathered a bunch. And we've also took some international questions. So... You'll see a whole bunch of stuff from all over the place, and we tried to get a little bit of everything, so hopefully we'll hit on most of the points that you guys were, uh, were looking to hear from us today. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to our first question. Uh, this one comes from uh, Ghost Poss. Can you explain more in depth how the move to 64-bit will enhance our experience? Yeah, um, so this is going to be uh, great for... Uh, uh, players, uh, we're going to see uh, shorter load times, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're also we're moving to DirectX 11. Awesome. So you'll see uh, some uh, a few graphical improvements, things like um, <laughs> normal maps on uh, some ground textures, things like that. Awesome. And this is coming in 2.4.3, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you haven't tried out the 64-bit client, it is on the PTR right now. So go ahead and give that a try. It's really nice, smooth experience. So. Uh, let's see, our next question comes from Supreme. Are you happy with the current Paragon system, or do you think it needs to be reworked? Yeah, so the Paragon system is um, an alternate progression track, right? Like, you've got, you can get items to get, uh, increase your character power in Diablo. Um, you can upgrade legendary gems. You can do uh, call the sons. There are a bunch of different, different tracks. Of course, you can level up from 1 to 70 at, at the very start of the game. Um, the Paragon system is allow, allows um, a very broad portion of our audience to continue to get character power mm -hmm. uh, and always feel like when they log in uh, and play for a while and log out, they've made some progress. And that's something that's really important to us. Mm -hmm. um, now, for your ultra-competitive players who yeah. want to you know, see like an even playing field and, and want to wanna really push the limits there, uh, we're really excited about the addition of challenge rifts for sure, uh, in a yeah. future patch. Uh, they're going to have their own leaderboards, and you're going to be able to uh, compete against your friends and keep, compete against other people uh, in the region. Uh, on uh, with everyone, everyone starts with the same character and same powers, and just straight up who can who can get the lowest time. Yeah, and this is a feature we talked about briefly at BlizzCon. So. We did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we announced it at BlizzCon. Uh, uh, we're we're pretty excited about it. It's it's really coming along uh, nicely. Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to diving in there. I know the the chicken playtest was like crazy awesome on the team. So. Yeah, we had um, <laughs> uh, we have we've had a, a series of playtests where we t test um, with different builds, um, and of course the builds for challenge rifts um, are going to come from the players themselves. Right. So so actual players who have actually done a rift. Uh, you're going to be challenged to beat their time, and you'll be rewarded uh, with some uh, some uh, bounty materials, crafting materials, those kinds of things. Uh, you're going to get a big, big uh, pile of those uh, just for beating the player's time. And uh, then beyond that, you can compete to see with your with your friends uh, on the leaderboards and, and with your region, like I said, like I was saying. Yeah. Awesome. I can't wait for that. That'll be great. So our next question comes from Spawn. Do we have plans to rework Barbarian's Wrath of the Way set? So we do have some changes already on PTR for this, right? Yeah, um, so we've done a couple of passes on this set. Um, the intention, just to, to be clear from the start, uh, is to increase the power of the Wrath of the Way set. Right. Um, and uh, we've, we've made some additional changes uh, that are uh, going to be uh, going out on PTR uh, soon, I believe. Uh, that will uh, help us help us get to that goal. Right. Um, uh, in two four three, uh, we've actually taken a look at some of the sets uh, that weren't performing as well, where we felt like we could make strategic changes mm -hmm. uh, to bring them up and get a little bit more play diversity right. um, across um, all the classes. Uh, you know, we've got Brolins, Marauders, yeah. Inas, um, Air Cures, Delsiers, uh, and of course uh, 
Wrath of the Waste. Right. So with Wrath of the Waste specifically, um, a big part of the, the gameplay is um, this concept of uh, throwing tornadoes at, at, the, at the monsters. Mm -hmm. And we, we think that there's some interesting gameplay there. We don't want the tornadoes to be completely meaningless. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've actually done some gameplay optimizations uh, to Whirlwind and to the tornadoes to make sure that they can perform, you know, uh, perform well uh, right. performance-wise, um, so that there's there's no concerns there. Uh, but we think that the balance uh, prior to to two four three um, too heavily favored the tornadoes. So mm -hmm. we're shooting for more of like a sixty percent of your damage comes from whirlwind, and maybe about forty percent comes from from your, your actual tornadoes. Um, so that's what you'll you'll see in 243 mm -hmm. uh, as we sort of hone in on, on that balance. Very cool. So uh, let's move to our next question. This one is about the Necromancer. At BlizzCon, we mentioned that the Necromancer themes are about reanimation, blood, and bone, but what about poison? I was in love with my poison novas and poison dagger back in the D2 days. Thanks for the question, Gensaru. Yeah, uh, so the Necromancer um, is, we're very much uh, in the middle of uh, developing all of his skills and, and sort of exploring out these themes that we, that we talked about at BlizzCon. Um, and we found that uh, the blood theme and um, the sort of theme of, of decay um, is really is really strong. Uh, we're we're able to really um, build a lot of really interesting gameplay around these themes. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, poison hasn't hasn't come into it as much. You may see a, a, a rune, rune here that's potentially um, potentially there. Um, but the the witch doctor is also a, a heavily poison themed class. Right. And we do want to put uh, do um, we want to push those two classes uh, a little apart. further apart, yeah, right? Exactly. Make sure that they stand on their own. They have their own themes and yeah. The necro, uh, I mean, the necro is totally different from the witch doctor. Right. Um, he, uh, you know, uh, he has he, uh, his mechanics are very different. But even even that said, we want to make sure that um, we're really playing up the the strongest themes with him, which are those that those blood, four. Bone, yeah. 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 Excellent. So our next one. Uh, is an anonymously submitted question, and this one is, uh, will the PS4 and Xbox One players be getting the anniversary patch and event at the same time as PC and Mac players? Yes, they will. Yeah. Um, we are console players, are uh, first-class citizens, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, remember, of course, that we're also bringing uh, seasons to console. To consoles, yeah. Uh, in, uh, in a future patch um, this year, uh, so we're really excited about that. We're mm -hmm. Building, uh, building it for console so that the console experience is organic and feels like it was developed for console from the ground up, just like we did with uh, right. with the game itself. Awesome. So that'll be coming very shortly. Let's see, our next question comes from Edu, and uh, he asks, Saffron Wrap, most legendaries need synergies with sets to be worth using. Are there any plans on incorporating overpower to a set? Yeah, so we we've talked about this. Um, we did talk about we we even talked about adding it to Wrath of the Wastes, um, uh, where we ended up with Wrath of the Wastes. We wanted to focus on the werewolf, the <laughs> were, <laughs> whirlwind, 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 right? The whirlwind and the rend. <laughs> Apparently, there are werewolves. <laughs> now, um, uh, we wanted to focus on the whirlwind and, and rend element on that, and um, really address the the tornado. Um, issue there like I like I um, uh, alluded to earlier um, and uh, saffron wrap we think is very cool we think it's very interesting uh, so we're gonna see how it plays out uh, and what kinds of what kinds of uses it gets put to uh, once it goes live and then we'll reevaluate it from there awesome so go ahead and equip those saffron wraps and start experimenting <laughs> let us know how it feels and and what you like about it and all right, our next question comes from Brandu. Group play is more rewarding than solo play. Could something be done to reduce the disparity between the two? Yeah, um, so this is something that we are looking at very carefully. Um, we would like to make some 
changes here to make the solo play experience more fun when you're when you're doing bounties, mm -hmm. um, and we're working right now on on exactly what the changes, mm -hmm. uh, what changes we can make to accomplish that are. We always kind of go through different like iterations and experiments and figure out what works, what doesn't work. Yeah, um, but uh, it's it's absolutely something that's on our radar. For sure. Let's see. Our next question comes from Horax, and he asks, "Do we have plans to rework the Akan set?" Yeah. So we added a seventh piece to Akans uh, in two four three to the the next slot, the ambulance slot, uh, mm -hmm. and of course that's a uh, contested slot or right. there are um, other uh, things that you, you might want to put there. Um, but we're really interested to see what kinds of new builds players can make with this extra flexibility mm -hmm. um, that's added there. Uh, and we're going to you know, see where it goes from there. Very cool. So another anonymous question was submitted. Uh, this one is, are there any plans to add more achievements to the game? Uh, yeah, you're going to see a whole new batch of achievements uh, as part of the Necromancer pack. Mm -hmm. He'll have his a full set of achievements, um, just like you'd expect for any other class. Right. So those achievement hunters need to go and roll up a Necro. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Got to do it. There are so many good reasons to roll a Necro. Mm -hmm. And that's totally the same question. I did not <laughs> rotate to the next one. Sorry about that. <laughs> This is how you know it's live. It's li yeah. That's how you know it's yeah. live, because I'm messing up. Uh, so <laughs> how do the devs feel about the sets that vastly outperform others, such as Firebirds? What kind of changes can we look forward to regarding set balance, if any? So this one comes from Brogoth. I believe this one was on our forums. So we, um, our, our philosophy in general for um, situations where maybe something is perceived as being too strong is that we don't, we don't want you to do something uh, Thursday night and then log in Friday morning and, and be unable to do that same thing, like unable right. to clear the same greater rift level or yeah. something. You never want to log in weaker. Exactly. So we're very, uh, very careful about um, making those kinds of changes to things that are that are perceived as, as too strong. Mm -hmm. um, so in this situation for 243, uh, we've buffed some of the other uh, sets for the classes uh, and uh, the goal there is to sort of get uh, play styles, get people um, able to sort of check out some of the play styles that they uh, enjoy without feeling like it's completely right. Uh, like they're, they're being way left, left behind, behind. Exactly. right? Yeah. So providing some some more variety in mm -hmm. gameplay. Yeah, and uh, that's something that we um, plan to continue uh, monitoring and. Um, um, these kinds of strategic changes are, are something that you, you could see more of in the future, potentially. Very cool. Let's see. Let's make sure. Oh, I've left that up the entire time <laughs> we were talking about that one. Sorry, you didn't get to see us wildly gesturing still about live. class sets. Still live. We're still live. Um, <laughs> so our next one comes from Demian. And uh, he asks, are there any plans to overhaul and improve the character skill system? Yeah, so uh, as a live game, uh, the skill system is a sort of a foundational element of, of Diablo 3. And as a live game, uh, we wouldn't make a change um, that affected such a fundamental element of, of the game. We wouldn't, we wouldn't rebuild the, the skill system. Right. Um, beyond that, uh, the, way that the flexibility that, that the skill system affords in Diablo 3 allows us to make legendary items that have the wildly different and crazy powers mm -hmm. that you see and then you know when you see one of these legendaries you can pick it up and and try to make a build with it without right. being hamstrung by um, um what the sorts of things that a more restrictive uh, skill system might limit you to so mm -hmm. you know you can you can immediately uh, try that out you can come up with new builds um, and that's part of why we were able to make um, things like like lawn mm -hmm. awesome Here's our next one. Uh, can we get a new transmog set for seasonal rewards? Asks Quaker Ninja. Transmog sets are very cool. Uh, we are going to do new cosmetics for season nine, mm -hmm. um, so you can expect to see uh, things uh, much along the lines of what you saw in season eight. Uh, right. But, so uh, new, new portrait frames new and a new cosmetic and. Yep. Brand new cosmetics. Very cool. Let's 
our next one comes from, I believe this geeky Texas chick asks, can we get info as to the timeline for season eight ending and season nine starting? I know a lot of you guys want an answer to this question. Yes. So we are going to announce more information about when season eight ends very soon. Very soon. Um, we typically announce that in a, a blog post, so yes. keep an eye out for that. Uh, and season nine is going to uh, start shortly after season eight ends, uh, and you can expect to see that um, uh, somewhere around the release of uh, two patch three. two point three. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see. Scroll down here a bit. We've got a bunch of questions. So our next one comes from Muzz. And he asks, will there be an alternative uh, true endgame that can compete with greater rifts? So to kind of um, get into the philosophy, uh, uh, sort of the background for this question a little bit, um, we see seasons as, as a way to continue to engage with the game over a long period of time. Uh, and we think that seasons really helps keep the game fresh by allowing you to, to play all, all the different classes and with uh, season journeys, the season journey and the, the, the changes to the season journey, you know, with the new sets and everything each, each season. Um, so that, that is, a, uh, that is, a, it is an end game. Right. Um, uh, now to answer your literal question, mm -hmm. like for people who want to, uh, take the same character and, and make sure that that character is as strong as they can get and, and max out all their all their um, legendary gems and call the sons and 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 uh, get uh, paragon up and everything uh, greater rifts are the place to do that right. they're a great place to do that and they're serving that purpose okay and then i mean as we mentioned before like for the for the really truly competitive people who want that even playing ground you know that's that's sort of the focus of challenge rifts coming in the future. So yeah, um, they should look forward to um, challenge rifts coming out and being able to check them out. Um, uh, I I don't think we mentioned it here, but mm -hmm. as part of our announcement for challenge rifts, we do um, plan to see new challenge rifts uh, on a regular basis. So mm -hmm. you're going to be getting uh, a new build to check out uh, from a new player uh, fairly frequently on a on a very regular basis. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the question, Muzz. Let's see, our next one comes from Gbrav13. Are there any plans to lessen the dominance of the Archon skill for wizards? Yeah, so we do think that Archon is, is a little bit too dominant in terms of um, the, the, the wide variety of uh, wizard builds that, that utilize Archon. Um, Del Sears doesn't use Archon in a lot of mm -hmm. builds, um, and it recently got a buff in right. 243. Yeah. Um, so check that out. Mm -hmm. So sort of just increasing the variety of different things. We're going to continue to uh, to look at this in ways that we can uh, affect this Yeah, shake, shake it up a bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow, we were really blowing through these. <laughs> 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 All right. Our next one uh, comes from Free. This one was from the forums. Why don't community managers and developers interact more with community members and posters? So I guess this is a question for both of us. Um, but one of the things that we're doing right now, and I'm sure some of you have noticed, is that we're, we're kind of experimenting with different ways of communicating with you that's just beyond making a forum post. Yeah. Um, when, when you go and we make a forum post, a very small audience tends to see it, and we have a really huge community, and not all of it gets a chance to interact with one another or interact with our developers or interact with us. So we're trying different options. This, this live stream is one of them, and so if you're enjoying this live stream, please like hit that like, hit those, those love buttons, you know, show us some love. And that's how we'll decide whether to do that's more. How, yeah, yeah, that's totally how we'll decide <laughs> whether we do more or not. Um, but it does actually help us figure out whether or not the, that this platform is working for us. Yeah. Um, we've used Twitch in the past, and we've mm -hmm. seen some successes with that. We've used YouTube, we've used, so we're, we're trying to see what really fits the community best and what also reaches the most people. Now, that doesn't mean we're gonna go and abandon one form of communication or another, mm -hmm. but it does mean that sometimes we spread ourselves a little bit thin trying to do all these different things. So it might get a little bit slow here or there, but we are here, we are listening, and uh, even if we can't necessarily say something, we're, we're doing our best to try to open that communication more now. Yeah, 
Uh, I just want to add that we do, uh, the developers do read the forums. Mm -hmm. I was here last night reading TTR <laughs> forums. <laughs> um, and uh, we're, uh, we're actually going to, there's uh, we're going to do a couple of changes to uh, some of the Greater Rift. Um, oh, the Greater Rift We don't have a changes. question about this, but this is a great opportunity. To, to talk um, about it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we've got some more, I've got a, um, some uh, additional tweaks that okay. will be coming uh, up to TTR as a direct result of mm -hmm. your guys' feedback. So yeah. thank you guys. Those focused feedback threads too, those are super helpful um, for helping us like concentrate on specific issues and, and really get yeah. um, your feedback directly on what we're looking for at, in that moment. So, so thank you. Thank you for everything you've sent in because it's been really helpful. I think we're actually down to the last one that we've gathered here. Yeah. So we blew through this really quickly. I, I guess I know next time to, to gather. <laughs> like, next time we can take more questions. Yeah, next time we can definitely take more questions. So um, this one's on a little bit more on the fun side. So uh, seeing as we work for Blizzard and work on the Diablo team, what kinds of things does a Diablo team want for Christmas? Yeah, so I can't speak for the whole team, of <laughs> course. Uh, right. <laughs> But I did, uh, before I came over here, I did take a poll of uh, a couple other people in the same, who share, share an office uh, with me. And uh, <laughs> let's see, I think, I think Wyatt wanted uh, some snow for Christmas. Some snow in Irvine. Down here in Irvine. Uh, but someone else immediately commented that they did not want snow that in Irvine. So I don't know. I don't know who's. I don't know which one is gonna win out. We'll see. I I like to think the odds are in my favor. <laughs> I think you might. Yeah. If I you might, just a little you bit. You might make it. Um, uh, one of the other uh, people wanted to get uh, butterfly wings. Butterfly wings, those, right? Those galaxy wings. The galaxy wings. Those, um, those are from Whimsydale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for me. Uh, I would love to get an ancient uh, witching hour. That would be great. Yeah. What build are you using that's like that? That's my last thing. What build are you using that for? Uh, on Hallowed Essence. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Well, hopefully that'll be in your stocking. Stuffer, I'm hoping. I don't know right? how I'm going to get the belt in the... <laughs> in the no, stocking. Santa, Santa's going to get the belt in the stocking, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. All right. Well, I want to take a moment to thank you guys for tuning in, and, and of course, to thank you, Joe, for joining Yeah, of course. Um, we... Uh, this kind of uh, interaction is super important to us, and mm -hmm. if you guys find it valuable, then let us know. And yeah, let we'll us do. know. I, I like we would love to be able to to do more things like this, and to do you know kind of explore some of these other platforms, like I mentioned earlier. So, um, thanks everybody for for liking, sharing, and uh, and watching and hanging out with us today. Um, I do want to say happy holidays to to our community. Uh, we really hope that you have a wonderful rest of your year. And uh, thank you for helping us celebrate this this 20th anniversary of Diablo that we have. Absolutely. Coming up on the 31st. Um, that is super exciting for everybody on the team. And um, the, the anniversary event will be going live shortly, yeah. shortly thereafter. So. Yeah. We'll lock down, uh, lock down uh, all the changes, get everything good on TTR. Yeah, and then get it all nice and shiny and, gonna... and out to you guys so you can get your hands on it and... Uh, Go get some of those godly plates of the whale. That's and right. <laughs> slay, slay Diablo. <laughs> yep, slay Diablo. Get, get your soul stone. Yeah, jam it in your forehead. That's right. All, all the good stuff. Celebrate in traditional Diablo fashion. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a Diablo New Year. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to to head out for today, um, and uh, just keep an eye on our channels for the for upcoming news, vlogs, and stuff uh, regarding season eight, as well as patch two four three. And we will see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.